looking out at the lake this morning, and we had a chance of storms today. But looking out the lake, I saw two big Canadians. And as I turned around and looked this way, I saw more Canadians. And so we haven't seen the Canadian geese in a while. Here comes some more coming in or leaving or something. See them splashing in out there. So we've got, you hear them honking? Can you hear them honking? We've got a pretty good little bunch of Canadian geese. They have not been here in about a week. We'll just walk out here. They're way out there in the lake. I've got zoomed out all the way on my iPhone. But they're pretty good ways out there. It's windy as all get out. It looks pretty calm on the lake. Well, that one got up and flew as well. I think that one way out there is a water turkey. I don't think that one's a geese. Your buddy left you there, pal. Now, that might be a geese way out there. That's a water turkey. I don't know. I think it's a water turkey. That's the far one. The close one is a Canadian geese. Canada goose. A Canada goose. Well, now, wait a minute. There's both of them. I guess that might have been a water turkey that got up and flew. <clears throat> yeah, that must have been the deal. But it's windy, really windy. The wind is blowing right on my microphone. I'm kind of anxious to play this back and see how it sounds. I bought some new microphones. They're, they're, they're still amazingly inexpensive. I think these are $50. Amazingly inexpensive for wireless microphones. They're just clip, they just uh, plug right into my iPhone. They've got ones that plug into the Cracker Jack phones also, the other brand. And, uh, talking back to me. Those are not really large geese. Of course, they're a long way up there. They're, well, I guess they're a lot bigger than they look because as I look out there at them, they look like pretty dang good size. They're really floating high in the water this morning too. But they're just, they're just a long way out there. So that's nice. I don't know where they've been, but they haven't been here at the lake in the last several days that I've been back. So we finally see them, and that's good. Canada geese swimming along, just kind of calm and peaceful, isn't it? The wind's blowing, it's cloudy. A beautiful morning. It's going to be windy today. Jimmy's going fishing. Pat's coming. We're going fishing. We're going to Canyon Lake today. Might try throwing a little lucky strike. Square bill, lucky strike, the luckiest tackle in the world. Looky there, boys and girls. How beautiful is that? But Nellie and I are down here on the dock shooting some video, getting ready to make a few casts if we catch a fish. And these two big Canadian geese, well, basically, basically they are just swimming right up here to us. I mean, I know they see us here. Look at them. They're gorgeous. There's two more on out a little bit further. Right there. Do you know that Canadian geese mate for life? Just like Chris and I. <laughs> I've always been accused of being a goose a few times, so. Aren't they, isn't that pretty though? Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that other pair out there. Now I heard some more around on the lake, uh, so we've got a few. For a couple of, two or three weeks, we just didn't see any geese at all. And they uh, seem to, uh, they seem to have come back. And that's great because we love to have them around. They're beautiful. And to have them come in and get that close, probably, I was talking anyway, but if I had been real quiet, they might have come right up here to the to the dock. I was actually doing one of the um, Catch of the Catch a Better Life daily devotionals. They might have thought they were just coming to church. <laughs> you need a little devotional, Mr. and Mrs. Goose? Right here's the place. To, look at that. Isn't that pretty? God, look at her. Wagging her little tail there. That's got to be the girl. <laughs> That's got to be the girl goose. That's got to be the girl goose right there. She's so... Oh, look at... Look at, God, look at that. That is so pretty. I could just sit and watch them for a while. Oh, here another one taking off back behind me. Oh, my gosh. Look out there in the middle. I, I heard a goose back here behind me. Look out there in the middle. Now, I know professional cameraman pan real slow. Real slow. But I'm no professional cameraman. I even kicked the tripod. Where are they? There they are. There they are. Look out there.
There's several out there. And they're swimming over here too. They're coming right over here. Maybe they called them on their, or texted them or something, sent them an email and told them, Jimmy's preaching on the dock. And they said, Jimmy's no preacher. Preacher, he's a fisherman. And they're exactly right. He's definitely no preacher. He's simply a poor country fisherman. Do you see what it was that flew in front of the camera? I have no idea. Here they come, coming right to me. You know, I'll bet you those others shied away because they thought I was getting ready to pass, pass the offering plate. <laughs> Must be Baptist geese. Ah, 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 ah. That's very cool. Very, very cool. He's swimming right over here toward me. Just absolutely gorgeous. Look how effortlessly they swim. Of course, their little feet are moving pretty good. Big old web feet. Swimming is just a piece of cake for them. It's like they're going to swim right over here to the dock. Is that beautiful? Do they not see me? Those are wild Canadian geese. They're not tame by any stretch of the imagination. But they feel safe and secure here at the Twin Eagle Ranch. Look at those. How close are they going to get? <laughs> I love it. One, two, three, four, five. Uh-oh. Five is not three pair. I see two pairs swimming off to the right. And there's five right there. One, two, three, four, five. That is not two pair. How close are they going to get? The others got pretty close, and then they kind of veered off to the west. Golly, they're gorgeous birds. Look at that. God was feeling creative when he created those birds, didn't he? God, so God's made some really incredible birds, though. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, wind started blowing, so they turn around and go the other way. <laughs> Goodbye, pretty birds. We are back at the ranch. Well, I'm back at the ranch. Chris has been here all along. Sherry stayed with her over the weekend. Don't have much deer out there. There's a couple, two or three is all. That one's walking off. They must have already eaten up all the South Fresh deer food. Uh, one thing you do notice as you look out through the woods is a lot more green. It's greener than it was when I left. We've already mowed our grass one time. Uh, prayer circle's been mowed, but the only really good grass we got looking at, we're gonna replant this mess right here. And the reason all of that ends up being trodden down is a lot of shade. You can see the shade from the trees. Well, when the leaves get out on the trees, that's pretty much totally shaded. Deer are walking off in this area down here. There was a four or five out there. I don't know if we had any bucks in the bunch. If we had any bucks, they've definitely lost their antlers. But a few of them walking off. And uh, we're going to end up with, with nada. No deer out there pretty quickly. I made it in last night a little bit after 2 o'clock. American... Uh, I was, went through Dallas twice, going and coming. Going, the plane was on time. Coming back, it was about an hour and a half late, which is uh, about on time for uh, flying through Dallas. Uh, but, you know, when I thought about it, that's 50% uh, flew through Dallas twice, 50% late. In the course of a year's time, it'll run about 70 or 80% late. But since it was only to, to a small choice there, that's pretty good, 50%. And uh, then in Oklahoma City, it took about <laughs> oh, 45 minutes to get my bag. I think a couple other airplanes had come in relatively the same time. So they were really, really busy in Oklahoma City. And uh, another deer walking off in that direction. So uh, they're kind of coming and going a little bit this morning. And, uh, and then coming back again, checking to see if they got any more food. I think all of the ones that I've seen this morning have been does. But anyway, it was a little bit after 3 o'clock before I... I got in bed, so uh, I slept until 8 o'clock this morning, uh, which is pretty late. Chris is still in bed, but it's a beautiful but cold day out there. It's in the 40s. Uh, it's going to be probably maybe in the high 50s today. Uh, so it's not like it was when I left. When I left, it was pretty nice weather, beautiful weather there for a while, as a matter of fact. They had two-tenths of an inch of rain while I was gone. We are still... Need quite a bit more rain in March to catch up with last year. So 
Come on, rain. Come on, rain. Many of you have been getting a lot of rain, more than you want, more than you need. It, uh, you usually get too much or not enough. We've been in the not enough stands. We need too much for a while, especially to fill Canyon Lake up. But the deer that are out there this morning are looking good. Beautiful girls. I think those are all girls. I haven't zoomed in and really looked closely, but I think and all I've seen out there is girls this morning. Some of the others have gone around to the front, and those are going to scurry off as well. Okay, guys and girls, that'll uh, wrap up this little short video here uh, of what's happening with the deer on the ranch this week. Not many deer coming around the feeder, as you can see. Uh, it's hard to tell the difference whether we got bucks or does out there. I think that little bunch this morning was does. I mean bucks. It might have been a little combination of both. I'm not really sure. I haven't seen Forrest in two or three days. Uh, Patsy said he saw him a couple days ago, but keep in mind, I've been gone a lot. I'm out on the road working quite a bit right now, making a lot of personal appearances, and uh, we will be at uh, in South Carolina at the Palmetto Show. I'll be at a, seeking at a banquet there, a fundraising banquet on Thursday night. I'll be at the Palmetto Show there in Columbia, South Carolina on Friday. If you're around that area, Roland Martin and I'll be there together on Friday. I'll be going over to the big outdoor show in Somerville, West Virginia on Saturday, this coming Saturday, and uh, I will be in... Um, the Bass Master, at the Bass Master Classic in Tulsa on Sunday. So we're going to be out on the road quite a bit this week. Uh, Chris and, and uh, Patsy's holding the ranch down here while I'm gone. But, uh, but I'm not, I haven't been here enough to really run around the ranch and get some good deer pictures and elk pictures and stuff like that this week. But that'll give you a little glimpse. I will go in the pen this evening before dark and uh, visit and we'll take, a look at, uh, we'll take a look at the deer in there and see how they're doing. I think they're all doing really, really great. And, uh, and, and take a little little look on the antlers this week uh, about uh, uh, how Prince Charming and Casper, they're already starting to grow new antlers. And so that's going to get exciting here pretty quick because we'll be able to see massive changes from week to week to week. It is amazing how quickly they regrow those antlers. So guys and girls, we'll have another video tomorrow night. of will be in there pen feeding the deer this evening and anything else that happens between now and dark today. But remember, I sure do love you. <laughs>